Hello and welcome to the five quick start videos. My name is Joe. I'm a trainer here at Service Autopilot. I want to first thank you for choosing Service Autopilot and really encourage you to follow along with what I'm doing and take the time to set up your account and learn the system. Doing that now is going to make it so much easier in the long run and later when you're trying to learn more advanced topics. So take the time now to learn the basics. And in these five quick start videos, we're going to be covering five topics. One, setting up clients. Two, scheduling your first job. Three, using the dispatch board. Four, invoicing and getting paid. And five, managing your jobs from the calendar. But before we dive into the first topic, I do want to introduce you to our help section here. If you go click on help and on-demand classes, you'll be taken to another page which has all of our on-demand classes. Now I would encourage you to go through at the very least introduction one and two. So what you'll do is you'll click and watch these videos, get to the very end of them and there will be a form that you'll fill out to verify that you watch them. You'll fill out that form and get credit for those videos. And once you do that, you'll qualify for your one-on-one -on -one training sessions. If you sign up with the pro membership, you get two free one-on-one -on -one trainings with the trainers. They will sit down with you on a screen share and go over any topics or any questions that you have. And if you want training on more advanced topics during that training session, I would also advise you to go down and watch any videos related to those advanced topics. And that way you'll have a good understanding as well. So the next thing we're going to go over here under the help tab is our interactive training. If you're someone who maybe learns better, not through videos or reading articles, but you like to learn more hands-on, this might be a good place to start because it'll have you click through things. It'll give you step-by-step -step instructions. It's really a great resource for a different kind of learner. And then we're also going to go to our training at SA page. And if you want to come here and visit us, we'd love to see you. Now our in-house training here is going to cost a little extra, but it's a great resource if you're someone who likes to learn face-to-face. -face. I would encourage you to check out this page. You can view the sessions, see our agenda, and then reserve a seat if you're interested. And also we have our certified advisors. These are industry experts and service autopilot experts who can maybe help you implement the system for your business. So I'd encourage you to come to this page if you're interested and learn more or click on these certified advisor pages to learn more and get in contact with them if you want to sign up for their services. So let's go back here to the My Day page. This is the main service autopilot page. And this will be where you see things such as our newsletter. If we're giving you any information on upcoming releases, you'll see those here. So I'd encourage you every day to come to this spot and check out the My Day page. And the first thing we're going to do, though, is add a client. So let's come up here and click on the Add button and then click on Client. Now, there are a couple different ways to do that. I just want to show you this way because it's very easy and no matter where you are in the system, you're going to see this plus button. So what we're going to do is add a client. Let's say his name is Tim Jones. All right. Notice when I typed in his name, these three fields pre-filled or auto-populated. Now in this field, if this were a commercial client, I could put the name of that commercial client here. So if it was a company name, I could put that there. But in this case, it's not. I can put the property name here and the name on invoice here. They can be different. However, in this case, they're all the same. So let's go ahead then and type in the address. All right. And notice when I tab through these, it's going to auto populate the billing address when I put in the service address. And that just saves you a little bit of time. We go to the postal code here, and notice it recognizes that postal code, and it's going to ask me to select which city, and it'll auto-populate the city and state. And at this point, it has mapped the client's location on a map. 
So this client, once you save it, will be marked with a geolocation that will be a latitude and longitude coordinate, which will be how they show up on a map based on that coordinate. And let's go also put in the email here if they had one. I'd encourage you as you're setting up clients, get as much information as you can. And then if they've got any phone numbers, let's say this person has a cell phone number, I'll put that in there. And the last thing we're going to do here is make sure we select the sales tax if we charge them sales tax. So I'm going to enter that there. And then the next place I want to go is the billing tab. And I can enter a billing email. You don't have to do this, especially if you already have a contact email and the billing email would be the same. You can just leave this blank. But if it's a different billing email, put that in there. Also, you want to modify how you send their invoices. So if you send them by email, select that, print, or both. You can select any of these. In this case, I send them by print and email, so I select both. And then how they pay you, um, you can modify that. This has checks, so if they give me a check, I can put that in there. But let's say they pay via Discover or MasterCard credit card type, I can select it. But this client, let's say he pays by cash. So I'm going to select cash. And then is the client taxable? Select whether they're taxable or non-taxable. And then flag the invoice for review. I'm going to select this. This would make the invoice show up on the invoice list as red, meaning that we need to review it before we send it to that client. And then also I'm going to go over here and change my billing terms. The billing terms is when does that client have to pay that invoice or so how many days does the client have to pay in this case it's due on receipt now this is also going to default to whatever you have set up in your company settings so make sure you set up your company settings to what typically you have set up for your billing terms and then when to invoice this is going to be when does that invoice generate for that client we have several different options again this is going to default to your company settings and what I'll do is explain what each of them are. So daily invoicing means that the invoice for this client will generate on a daily basis when I do the work. So it will generate as soon as the work is completed. Weekly invoicing means that the invoice will generate at the very end of the week on Saturday at the very end of the day. And so all the jobs that I do in that week for that client will show up on one invoice, which will complete at the end of the week. Monthly works in a very similar way where all your jobs completed in that month will show up on one invoice and the invoice will generate at the very end of the month, at the very end of the day on that month. And then print in advance means that the invoice will generate as soon as the job is dispatched. And finally, we could invoice on a custom day, which is very similar to monthly, except you're going to choose which day you want the invoice to generate on. So you set a billing period. So let's say I wanted to invoice on the 15th, for example, of every month, I would choose 15th in my company settings. And then this would default to the 15th here. And that means that my billing period is going to be from the 15th to the 15th. And the invoice is going to generate at the very end of the day on the 15th of each month. And then so that's really it here, um, basic steps for setting up a client. We're going to go ahead and save this. And now we have a new client created. So the next video then is going to go over scheduling your first job.